Hi everyone, in today's demo I'll demonstrate how we can uh, leverage AMCOP multi-cluster orchestration platform to orchestrate free 5 gc and UV ransom to a target cluster and show the end-to-end -end network connectivity from UV to 5G core. Free 5 gc is an open source project for 5G mobile core networks and UV ransom is also an open source project which has both uh, RAN, uh, GNB and the UV simulators. You can consider this as a 5G mobile phone and a base station in basic terms. We leverage this project to test 5G core networks. We have two parts of the demo. Uh, part 1 includes orchestration, orchestrating free 5GC using AMCOP GUI for private 5G deployments. It includes creating a cloud provider, registering a Kubernetes cluster, creating a tenant and design a network service for free 5GC and orchestrate them using AMCOP GUI. After all the free 5 gc parts are up and running, log into the free 5 gc web UI and create a subscriber. Part 2 includes orchestrating UV RAN simulators and orchestrate them using AMCOP GUI to an edge cluster. It does the following in the background. It performs a handshake between UV RAN, GNB and the AMF and the UV registration and set up the communication channel for the UV and GTP tunnel setup between the UV RAN SIM and the UPF and finally we will validate this connectivity and the GTP tunnel. Here is eye level architecture how it looks like or after we orchestrate and the end to end connectivity. So AMCOP does three things intent based orchestration, lifecycle management and real time closed loop automation which is also known as service assurance. In this architecture, we are orchestrated uh, 5G RAN, which is UV and GNB to an edge cluster, and uh, the free 5GC, including UPF, to the 5G core. And it will enable the connectivity from UV to UPF via the GNB, and uh, the traffic uh, will reach the internet via UPF a GTP tunnel. And we will uh, see this how 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 the connectivity happens in the, at the end of the demo. Here is a high level demo flow. So the first is to infra orchestration and the cluster registration and the intent based orchestration of application and services and AMCOP also does day one and day two lifecycle management, monitoring and real time closed loop automation. Coming to the demo itself. Here is a login screen for AMCOP. So first we create a cloud provider and uh, onboard the cluster so let me onboard the AWS cloud uh, VM easy to I have a config file already saved in my laptop I'll just onboard that config cube config file And let me also unboot the edge cluster. Create a tenant for 5G core. Now we'll create a service design and onboard the free 5G helm charts. And I'm onboarding the override config file which is part of the day zero configuration. So the values which are part of this particular file will override the values in the actual helm charts as part of the day zero configuration. And create a logical cloud. And I'm selecting the AWS cluster that I have onboarded in my previous step. And create a service instance for 5G private 5G deployment. For selecting the 5G core as a service and the core cloud as a logical cloud. And AMCOP also supports versioning. I'm selecting the V1. 
and select the target cluster and submit and click on this blue cloud symbol which will instantiate to a target cluster and we'll see the pop-up coming up uh, saying the status that it is instantiated we can click the private 5G deployment and see the Kubernetes uh, object status currently I see that it is applied so it is instantiated go back to the terminal and verify the sign so right now you see there is no pause let me execute the command again you see that the pods are coming up let's go back and create the service instance for the UV ransom let me create a UV UV ransom tenant creating a service design for uh, UV and uh, G node B I'm onboarding the UV RAN simulator Helm chart. Creating a logical cloud for the edge cluster. Here I'll deploy uh, the UV RAN sim in a, in a custom namespace that is UV, UV RAN sim namespace. And I'll select the edge cluster. then create a service instance and I'm selecting the uh, service that we created in the previous step on the logical cloud as edge cluster and v1 and select the target cluster submit before we instantiate, let's wait for all the free 5 gc parts are up and running and we need to create uh, the free 5 gc subscriber after we log into the uh, web UI. So here is a new port uh, to log into the free 5 gc web UI portal. Okay, I see that all the ports are up and running. Web UI is also up and running. Let me log in. Click on subscriber and create a subscriber. Uh, let's leave all the default values and click on submit. Now we have a uh, UV ID and a PLM uh, subscriber that is created. Now go back and uh, instantiate the free 5G uh, UV RAN simulator. So the UV RAN simulator is also instantiated. Let's go back uh, to the edge cluster and get the ports in the UV Ransom namespace and you see that the ports are up and running let me look at the logs of the UV Ransom you can see that uh, the PDU session establishment is successful and the connection uh, setup for PDU with the interface uh, 10.1.0.1 is up and the same can be verified from the free 5 gc ui go back to the real time statistics and uh, show the info you can see that the uv is connected to the amf also the fmf and uh, you see the pdu address as 10.1.0.1 1 .1 we can execute a uh, ping command uh, to test the internet connectivity
So you can see that the UV Rancine tunnel is created uh, with 10.1.0.1. Let's use this interface to ping the internet. So I can ping internet and this traffic should go via the UPF. So let's verify uh, that is created. Let's get the IP address of the UPF pod. So you, uh, the UPF pod IP is 10.32.0.16. Let's do a trace route. So you see that the first hop itself is the IP of the UV, uh, UPF port which is 10.32.0.16 that is matching here. So this demonstrate that the UV established the GTP tunnel connectivity successfully to the UPF and we are able to reach internet uh, via the free 5G core. Thank you. This, this concludes uh, demo part 1 and 2.